back to another shakachi lesson. I am your licensed shakachi teacher, Sean Renzo Head, and today we're going to be going over the piece Tsuki, which means moon. So this is a contemporary piece, uh, but it's written within sort of that, that kind of a Japanese flair uh, sort of style. So yes, there is rhythmic notation within it, but we have a little bit of leeway uh, for some stuff uh, to basically we can get away with playing incorrectly or not playing in time necessarily but in general we're going to want to try to keep uh, some like a, an eye on this rhythmic the rhythmic beats so just a couple quick things really uh really quick we are in four four time so they're going to be four clicks to each measure and this right here means slow so it's going to be a slow tempo in four four time okay so we start out right in the beginning in the con register and then we're going to be starting with a tsude um, in some recordings, what you're going to hear actually is a de, uh, a de tsure at the beginning. So you're going to hear this sort of sound. So, ri tsure. And it's, it's a good idea right in the beginning. Anytime you're starting a piece, you should have an idea of what your tempo is going to be before you start. And then cue that with the breath. So... And that, that breath in was actually the quarter note, the quarter note value of, of this piece. Now, the interesting thing about this is that there are these like 16th note pickups that are right in the beginning. And the way that this is notated is actually like, it kind of looks like this. Like you have a 16th, uh, 16th note here, and you have the dotted eighth, and that's like tied into like a, the, a, a quarter note like that and then that's a dotted dotted quarter note. So it's kind of like, that's kind of what it's written as, but the way that I've um, interpreted it is that we're gonna be doing it in this sort of fashion where it's gonna be the dotted quarter note that's, that's written there. But we're actually gonna do it as a 16th note, grace note like that, okay? So the rhythm there, so you have that grace note that falls on, on the downbeat. Ta-da! And three, four. Then we have the, the opening here. Tsure, two, and three on that on the E. That E medi, which is actually gonna be a half hole on the back. So the, those two measures together. Now, one of the things that I like to add here is I actually I like to make this a double a a, a double or or double tap. I think it just gives it a little bit more flair to the music, um, and it's nice. Now, here's the thing though is that you can't do it too much because if you do anything too much, it's like a one trick pony. It was cool the first time, it's still kind of cool the second time, third time it's like okay, we got it. We know it's a cool trick. Um, and then here on this D, it is marked as piano, so make sure that you play it softly. But I actually like to add a little Nayashi in the beginning too. Okay, so going on to the second line, um, we're, we are going to be in Otsu now. Same thing here, we have that little uh, grace note in the beginning. Tsure, and then U. So one, two, three, four, and then we have three grace notes, ure, tsure, and I do all those very quick. I do them faster than 16th notes. Um, one, because I, I, I like the sound of it. Um, it's really cool to have a couple, like just three little fast notes in there. It's got a little shimmer, kind of like what the moon, like a full, I'm imagining a full moon and it's shimmering in the night, and da da dee dum doesn't give me that, but da 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 has a little bit more of that like romantic element to it. So those two lines put together. It's just a nice little color there. It's it's not um, what I I haven't, don't really heard other people play it that way. I'm sure there are recordings of that, but I just personally like it faster. Um, if you want it, you could do it uh, how it's how it is notated. Uh, which is three sixteenth notes of those of those notes there uh, the 
ude in su, and then that's tied into uh, a would be a dotted half note at the end there. Okay, so just as an option, if you want to do it more like uh, literally what is written in the score, that is literally what is written. Um, but they're still they're written as grace notes. But I've, I hear when I'm hearing people in the recordings, they're doing one e and ah uh, da 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 da. Okay, here on this su we're going to be jumping back into the con register. So we have ooh and da da dee da dum. And for this, I actually don't take this breath here. I skip that one completely. I I don't think it help it supports the musical line. I wanted to keep going from there. Then we have this he, which is marked as forte, so it's going to be loud. And then o kiku yudu, which means big vibrato. And the way that I imagine this, it's like a ball bouncing. And as the ball is bouncing and bouncing, it gets closer, faster, 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 faster. And so here's that those two measures put together. Okay, then going on to the third line, we've actually already played this measure before, and that would be like right here. And this is why I say don't try to, don't do the same thing again. This is a rule that we learned from Bartok. Anytime you're gonna do something for the second time or third time, make it different somehow. So this time I won't do the double because it's, uh, or maybe I'll do a double here, but then I won't do the double the first time here. That way it's changing and it's always gonna be different. Then here we have the same, um, very similar to the measure right next to it uh, with those three notes, but we're actually going to be going down to that C sharp again, and that's going to be in old C register, E medi, which is that back hole just half covered, and then I cover, I do uh, one and two in the bottom here. And then again we have that uh, okiku yuri or okiku yuru. So let's do from here, from that line that we've already done, and then up to here, which is the end of the phrase. And same thing, I skip this breath here. Uh, I don't I don't like it there. It just it feels like it disrupts the musical line. Um, okay, going on, we have two small grace notes that are uh, are going to be in the ults register. The ults is very very small. Um, it is piano, so it's going to be very soft. Da 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 ya da da dum. And on this note, what I like to do is I don't take a breath, but I make this a staccato, and so that just means short. So um, it's going to sound something like this. <laughs> And it's just to provide some, some, a little bit of contrast. As if every single note is going to be long, if every single note is going to be full volume, it gets really stale and really boring very quickly. So adding that little short note just gives us a little extra, it's another spice. You know, we have our salt and pepper, throw a little bit of cayenne for an extra kick. That's the staccato note there. It's not written, it's um, not everybody does it in their recordings, but it's an option just to give you something a little bit different. Then we contrast that by going into forte. And this should be the peak of the piece. This is the loudest part, these three measures here. So this is the big, big climax of the piece. And I actually, I like to do a subido piano here because I like to take it, uh, basically what I'm doing is I don't want to give them everything, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to give it to them right away. I'm saying, okay, here's, here's a big note, it's about ready to happen, and then the next measure directly after that, that's when I give them the, the full thing. And then this last measure here is where it starts to, to die down. And then we have some music that's going to repeat afterwards um, that, that's coming up shortly. Here, uh, there is like a little nayashi that looks to be written. Um, 
I don't actually do it. I think that that might just be an actually a a misprint there. So there is there shouldn't be a Nayashi whatsoever. But we are going to be dropping down to that piano and a uh, piano volume level, and we're going to be in Otsu. <laughs> And on that E medi specifically, I like to add a lot of vibrato because it has a lot of tension and it wants to go right back down to D. Then we're gonna continue on to forte and to con. So you're gonna have a big contrast between these two. And that phrase is gonna continue going on all the way to the end here. So uh, why don't I was do this full line really quickly. <laughs> One thing to notice is that the way that this one is different is that it is two, three, it's gonna be a four and one. One, and then two, three, four, off. And what I mean by that we can take away a little bit from the uh, from the tempo is at the end of phrases, we should add just a little bit of extra time just so that everything can be settled. And that brings up a good point of like, when is a note actually finished? So like when I finish a note, I'm not gonna breathe yet, because once I breathe in, that's the death of the note. That's when it ends completely. But if I, it's still it's still living, and it's kind of like reverberating in the mind. So give yourself a second, and then inhale, and then go on to the next phrase. And so you don't want to do that after every single measure, because it's gonna it's gonna be too much. And then it's like, oh come on, just like get, let's get the piece going a little bit. But at the end of those major fra uh, phrases, that's when I would take just an extra breath. Yeah, um, in. Okay, now we're on to the last line of music. So we have that uh, tsure uri, ure tsure. We've done that before. Tsure ure tsu. And this is, I'd probably slow this down a little bit. So just start pulling back, really lengthen that out, and then give us kind of like a that sort of figure. <laughs> So something along those lines. So now I'm going to go through and just play through the full piece. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below, um, or you can email me directly at uh, seanheadmusic.com. Just go to that um, that web page, and you can go to the contact form at the bottom of the home page, and then you can just send me an email directly. Remember, you can also take private les with lessons with me on Skype um, or a Facebook Messenger. So uh, here is Suki in its entirety. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 